hello guys how are you welcome to another video it's Goli. so today we want to uh, look at the uh, two important files in etc uh, on your linux so etc shadow and etc password so these two files are kind of security files to store the information regarding your users and their passwords obviously a hash password not the plain text and uh, yeah so on so let's get it started and let's go in deep so uh, let's have a deep look on them and yeah let me show you first we can see with etc shadow so first you can see you have to have a, a high privilege so i mean you have to use sudo to cut the etc shadow and then i add sudo and i Give my password and then i can see the file so let me make it a little bit bigger and it will be better for us so here you can see so this is the root pass uh, the root user and here is regarding the password and here is uh, the others uh, the other fields are regarding the dates that uh, you the last date that you have changed the password the minimum age the maximum age the password and so on so uh, I will show you on this uh, website so they explain everything in detail I will put the links in uh, caption and then you can have a look at that so this is etc shadow and we are also in etc shadow so by example we can understand what they what is here and what they mean so here you can see we, we are uh, seeing something like this exactly here so if i go to my user so it has more information so that's better to explain here so first one is user so here you can see the first one is username the second one is the type of that uh, the algorithm actually the algorithm that our linux uh, uh, has used to encrypt the password and then the third one i mean after that it's the hash password so it's my password but it's in uh it's not in plain text and after that you can see here so there are some numbers with columns so three four five six and you can see here three four five six so the last password change so the last change actually and they are based on days since 1st of january 1970 so they are based on days then the second after that so after that you can see the minimum number of days required between password change and the after uh, the next field is maximum and after that you can see inactive expire and so other things so therefore this is a password that helps us uh, and gives us information regarding the passwords of each users so now let's have a look at uh, etc passwd and now let's see what this file contains here we can again see the root pass uh, the root user daemon user and different one and also i can again go to goal here so also i found another website which gives us really good information and comprehensive information and uh, you can see here let me go here so first one is called it's my username and x it means okay the password is already saved in uh, in shadow and this is the user id this is the group id and this is more information regarding my user so see here first one user the second one password and x character indicates that the encrypted password is stored in etc shadow file the third one is user id the fourth one is group id and after that you can see here it's the information regarding the, the your username after that again so it will be number six and seven so they indicate the home directory of your user and the common shell that it uses so in my case 
so I'm using home goalie so this is the directory of my user and I'm also using user bin zsh so this is the shell that I use so it's the same for other users for example for root so the password is already there so user id group id information about the root more information so we can add more here so the directory and also the shell that uh, root uses so this is all about these two uh, files here so they are really important files and uh, i i thought that maybe it's helpful to understand and to know how to read this file so you don't need to memorize everything here you always can look up the internet but the thing is that you should understand you should have a general overview what they mean that's why i wanted just to have this video to explain them a little bit more for you and uh, yeah that's all so have fun and see you